Did you see it shot down then? No? Well, are you local? Well, it's funny, I thought everybody saw that. Um, uh, oh, forgive all the questions, it goes with the job. Uh, I'm Cecil Arnold from the uh, Enfield Observer. Uh, now, this here is a model of SN11. It's the airship that was shot down uh, over Enfield and crashed at Cuffley. This particular night, the 2nd of September, this year, 1916, SL11, Schutterlands 11. Belongs to the German army, left its base near Cologne. If you were here where you are right now, inside this building, you'd hear distant engines and then thump, thump, it's bombs going off. They're getting closer. South Minns to start with, look where. But then North Hill House, Cruise Hill Golf Club. By now you can hear it very clearly. SL11 is approaching Enfield. It's very close now. Down go the bombs. High explosives on Angel Road. The Montague Road sewage works of all places. The allotments. The cartridge works. The cartridge works that makes those bullets I was telling you about. Getting closer up here. Green Road and, and South Over Road. Getting so close now you begin to think, well, we could be next. You hear the guns firing. You hear the engines. It's getting closer and closer. And then all the guns have stopped. You hear another noise. It's an engine. It's William Leaf Robinson. He's arrived in his aeroplane. William Leaf Robinson is a pilot with 39 Squadron over at Hainault Farm. On board, he's got three drums, the latest ammunition. Right, time to go to work. First off, um, dive down, pull up, and fire a whole string of bullets all the way from one end to the other, right through the airship. No result. All right, another drum of ammunition. This time, from one end to the other, down the side. Bullet after bullet tearing through the airship. Not a single result. All right, one drum left. He puts it in and thinks to himself, let's try something a bit different. He dives down and then pulls up until the airship's right above him, looking absolutely huge. He's getting closer and closer, and this time all the bullets are going to go into one spot. Bullet after bullet after bullet, the same part of the belly of the beast. And then there's an orange glow getting brighter, spreading down the entire airship. The airship is on fire, and once the airship's on fire, there is no stopping it at all. Bombs are still coming down, but now not in attack, but some desperate attempt to escape. It's too late. Leif Robinson has to get out of the way pretty quickly as the airship falls upon him, and he can feel the heat as it goes down. And shot down here, right over where we are in Enfield, finally coming to rest in a flaming pile near the plowing at Cuffley. SL11 is the first airship to be shot down in Britain. <sighs> People went wild. And the next day, it was a Sunday, and they started calling it Zep Sunday, of course. Well, everybody wanted to get to Cuffley to see it for themselves. The trains were packed, the station was completely packed out. So many people were crammed into these fields, and nobody noticed when a tall, handsome man appeared in a military uniform with the, the wings of the Royal Flying Corps on it. Of course, it was William Lee Robinson. He was a bit shy, I was uh, pleased to see him, and then gradually, of course, everybody else realised who it was. They were pleased to see him too. They wanted to shake him by the hand and pat him on the back and tell him how brilliant he was. Well, the next time I saw him, a couple of days later, it was at Windsor, and he turned up in his brand new car. He'd become a rich man. You see, lots of people were so frightened of these things and so determined to see him shot down, they'd offered a reward. Wealthy people who put money aside, and they said the first person to ship down an airship will get the money. That's what he did. He became a wealthy man. Then he went to Windsor to see the king, to be presented with the Victoria Cross. But what about the crew of uh, SL11? Well, of course, they're all dead. They couldn't survive that fire. They were given their funeral. It was the right thing to do. But what I say is, when this war's over, we'll be using these things to travel everywhere. We'll be holidays to Australia and airships, we touring around Africa, it'd be brilliant. And when we are doing all that, you look out for my name, Cecil Arnold, Air Correspondent.